I made in that, uh, I made also that I eat it a little. I know the very, very dangerous mushrooms yeah. that I don't like. But if I'm 99% sure only, I take a little, I wait one, two days. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, I'm not sick, very it must much. be okay. Have a little more. Something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin Restoring everything within oh. Hey allihopa, jag heter Brandon Jag bor här i Helsingborg i Sverige Och jag kommer från USA I am a registered nurse from the States and I have autism spectrum disorder level one. I moved here to Sweden in August of 2021. So I've been here for under half a year. I've been studying Swedish now for about four months at the University of Lund. And I wanted to make a video about the number one thing that I like about Sweden. I think this is quite timely because I just came back from a vacation in the United States during the winter holiday break and there was one thing that really stood out to me that was the nature here in sweden so when i went back to texas the first thing i noticed when i got out of the airport was how much trash was just like lying all over the road i even saw a lady who driving down the road just rolled her window down and threw the trash out the window and it just reminded me of how clean everything is in sweden and there are places where people throw trash out in sweden usually it's where us foreigners live but for the most part it's a lot cleaner than where I come from back home in the States and I just really love how Swedish people have such an appreciation for taking care of their surroundings back home it was kind of hard to go for walks and things of that nature because it's really not safe there are some paths but a lot of times you have to take a car to go to an area that's safe to drive if you try to take sidewalks like near my house it's in the city the sidewalks will just run right out in the middle of the grass and then you got to walk through someone's yard or some weeds or walk out in the street and worry about getting hit by a car. There's not really any good bicycle paths, but here in Sweden, it seems like you can pretty much walk anywhere in the city, ride your bicycle anywhere in the city. You still have to be careful and mindful of your surroundings, but it's definitely a lot more pedestrian and bicyclist friendly over here. Also, I live close to the sea. And so I take walks about almost every day and I go usually in the evenings to kind of de-stress, kind of calm down and also get some exercise. And I've lost a bit of weight just doing that, walking an hour to an hour and a half every day. There is a city that's close to me called Roa and that's my favorite place to go at nighttime because there's almost nobody out there usually. A lot of times there isn't anybody out there. And I love to just go and stare at the waves when it's dark at night and it just really makes you feel grounded and connected. Absolutely love it. There's forests right around me. There's parks everywhere that I can go walking through with walking trails. The trees are just amazing over here. All the beautiful pine trees near where I live. I guess that's what they are, pine trees. They look like, kind of like pine trees. And also we have gone mushroom hunting. So I went mushroom hunting with a friend of mine, although I was a little afraid to try anything because that's not an area that I feel is a strong uh, side of me, being able to know what's a poisonous mushroom and what's not. So that's something I'm gonna have to work on. But it was just amazing because you didn't really have to go far from where I live to be able to do something like that. You can go berry picking. There's all sorts of wild fruits and things that you can go get. And so I'm looking forward to the summer being out in nature even more than I am during the winter time and being able to do stuff like that, you know, going, uh, you know, on further journeys, hiking, picking berries, all that sort of thing. So that's the number one thing I like about Sweden is the nature here and how easy it is to be able to enjoy it. So if you like content like this and you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for your support.